Music is more than just notes. It's about feeling. It's about life. And at the heart of it all is rhythm. Rhythm is the heartbeat of music, the pulse that makes it come alive. Without rhythm, music would just be a collection of sounds. Think of your favorite song. What makes you tap your feet? What makes you want to dance? It's the rhythm. It's the driving force that compels you to move and feel the music. Rhythm is the foundation on which melody and harmony are built. It provides the structure and organization that allows us to make sense of music. Just like a house needs a strong foundation, music needs a solid rhythmic bass. Whether you're a seasoned musician or just starting out, understanding rhythm is crucial for your musical journey. It's the key to unlocking your full potential and creating music that truly moves people. Imagine a drummer laying down a beat. The bass player joins in, locking in with the kick drum, then comes the guitar, adding rhythmic chords. Finally, the vocalist begins to sing, their melody weaving in and out of the rhythmic tapestry. Each instrument has its own role to play but they all share a common thread rhythm. Rhythm is the foundation upon which all the other elements of music are built. It provides the framework for the melody, the harmony, and the form. Without a strong rhythmic foundation music can feel disjointed and chaotic. But with a solid sense of rhythm, music becomes cohesive and powerful. It's like a group of people working together towards a common goal. Just like a house needs a strong foundation, music needs a solid, rhythmic bass. Without it, the entire structure will collapse. So if you want to be a great musician, you need to develop a strong sense of rhythm. Timing is everything in music. No matter how well you play your instrument, if your timing is off, the music will suffer. It's like a dancer who's always a step behind the beat, it just doesn't look right. Every note has its place in time. When you play a note at the right time it creates a sense of groove and momentum. But when you play a note even slightly out of time, it disrupts the flow of the music. This is true for all instruments, not just rhythm instruments like drums and bass. Even instruments that play long, sustained notes like the violin or the human voice need to be aware of their timing. A held note that's too long or too short can throw off the entire ensemble. Mastering timing takes practice and dedication, but the rewards are well worth it. When you have good timing you'll find that your playing becomes more effortless and your music becomes more enjoyable to listen to. Section 4, Metronome, Your Practice Buddy. One of the best ways to improve your timing is to practice with a metronome. A metronome is a device that produces a steady, audible beat. By playing along with a metronome, you can train your ear to hear the beat more accurately and develop a stronger sense of internal rhythm. At first, practicing with a metronome can be frustrating. You might find that you're rushing the beat or dragging behind it, but don't give up. With consistent practice, you'll start to notice that your timing is getting better. Start by setting the metronome to a slow tempo and gradually increase the speed as you get more comfortable. Focus on playing simple rhythms accurately, and don't be afraid to experiment with different time signatures. Section 5. Subdivision, Breaking It Down Subdivision is the art of breaking down a beat into smaller units. For example, a quarter note can be subdivided into two eighth notes, four sixteenth notes, or even eight thirty-second notes. Understanding subdivision is essential for playing complex rhythms and for developing a more nuanced sense of timing. When you subdivide a beat, you're essentially creating a grid of smaller units of time. This grid helps you to place your notes more accurately and to create more interesting rhythmic patterns. Think of it like a ruler. A ruler has markings for inches, half inches, quarter inches, and so on. These markings help you to measure things more precisely. In the same way, subdivision helps you to measure time more precisely in music. Start by practicing simple subdivisions like eighth notes and sixteenth notes. Once you're comfortable with those, you can move on to more complex subdivisions like triplets and quintuplets. Section 6. Beyond the Beat, Feeling the Groove While playing in time is crucial, music is more than just a mechanical exercise. It's also about feeling the groove. Groove is the feeling of forward momentum and rhythmic energy that makes music so enjoyable to listen to. Sometimes, playing perfectly in time can actually make the music feel stiff and lifeless. That's because music often breathes a little bit with some notes slightly ahead of or behind the beat. Think about how a good dancer moves, they don't move like a robot hitting every beat with perfect precision. Instead they flow with the music, sometimes anticipating the beat, sometimes lagging behind it just a little. 
Listen closely to your favorite musicians, pay attention to how they phrase their notes, how they use silence, and how they interact with the other musicians. Section 7 Ensemble Playing One Heartbeat Playing music with others is one of the most rewarding experiences a musician can have. It's a chance to connect with other people on a deep level and create something truly special together. But playing in an ensemble also presents unique challenges, particularly when it comes to rhythm. In an ensemble setting, it's essential that everyone is listening to each other and playing together as one. If even one person is rushing or dragging it can throw off the entire group. Imagine a rowing team. If everyone isn't rowing in sync, the boat will go in circles. But when everyone is rowing together, the boat glides smoothly through the water. Playing in an ensemble is a constant conversation. You're constantly listening to what the other musicians are doing and adjusting your playing accordingly.